Kudzu is an invasive species. Lionfish are an invasive species. Salt cedar are an invasive species. Kudzu, a plant originally from Japan in southeast China, was brought to the United States in 1876. Today, it completely overruns the southern United States, climbing on all kinds of buildings, roads, telephone poles, infrastructure, everything. It is everywhere. Lionfish are originally from the South Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean. They first got into the Atlantic Ocean when aquarium owners began dumping them after they didn't want them anymore. They have completely taken over the ecosystem in the Atlantic Ocean. and Because of this, divers have to go in and manually remove them. Lionfish have a very painful barb that if they sting a human can cause nausea, vomiting, and allergic reactions. It's rarely fatal, but the impact these lionfish have on their ecosystem is devastating. The populations of lionfish has exploded over the last 15 years, and scientists are worried about the continued effects it has on the ecosystem and the problems they may cause with how many there are. Salt cedar is originally from Europe and Asia and is completely taking over Texas and New Mexico. The problem is this plant burns extremely hot and is very prone to fire. These plants were originally brought into New Mexico to help with flooding because these plants can drink a lot of water every day. The problem is that they're too thirsty. A single salt cedar tree can drink up to 300 gallons a day every day. These are devastating our ecosystems and taking up enormous amounts of water. So with kudzu, lionfish, and salt cedar, can you figure out why they are completely taking over their ecosystem? What is allowing their population to explode while other animals' populations are shrinking? This is the investigative phenomenon in our unit, competitions in ecosystems. You may not have the answer to this just yet, but by the end of these two weeks, you should be able to have a better idea of what's causing these animals and plants to take over their ecosystems.